All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chase Fan Number Nine here, and I'm coming at you with another video. And this time, it's a diecast review. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last um upload where I um showcase all the diecasts I got from yesterday, make sure to go check that out. But anyways, um, here's the first of those five um. This one is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2020 number 8 Filtered Time Chevrolet Camaro from the iRacing Pro Invitational Series. Um, he ran this paint scheme in two races after I, well, I looked up this paint scheme yesterday after um, I finished completing my video. And it turns out he ran this paint scheme more than once, Homestead and Bristol. Um, for Homestead, um, we all saw that epic finish between Denny Hamlin and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Unfortunately, it was Hamlin who got the win, but in all, in all honesty, it's just whatever at this point. So, yeah. Um, I never thought I'd see the day that I would be getting a die cast from a, well, a die cast that's based off of a car that was ran in a um, Sims racing game like iRacing. But I think it's pretty cool nonetheless. Um, I know they also have Timmy Hill's car, but they sell that car in big size, unfortunately. Will they make it down the line at some point? Maybe, but w we'll see what happens. But anyways, um, this is a pretty cool looking paint scheme. Um, this has been another, well, Filter Time's another sponsor that... Um, that sponsors Dale Jr. Um, the owner of Filter Time is former NASCAR driver Blake Cook. Some of you guys remember. Some of you guys probably remember who I'm talking about. Um, he drove for some small teams throughout his career, and then he drove for Colleague Racing for the final years of his career and all that. So yeah, it's a pretty cool deal. Um, they've also sponsored um some of Dale Jr.'s Xfinity drivers, like specifically Justin Allgaier. And not to mention that, well, they spon Filter Time sponsored Allgaier last year. And, <sighs> excuse me. And not to mention the fact that Allgaier won at Richmond this past season with um, Filter Time on the hood for the, or the car I should say so it's a pretty cool deal what else I guess that's pretty much all I have to say so guys without further ado um let's get into the review shall we so um let's take a look at the card first you got the NASCAR Pro Invitational Series up at the top left with their logo a picture of the car you got the Junior Motorsports logo Got the number eight and Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s name there on the bottom. On the back here, it says Earnhardt's first ever iRacing diecast. NASCAR legend Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been an avid online simulation racer for almost as long as he's been driver of real life stock cars. There's some, something on there. One of the pioneers of the Sims racing movement, Earnhardt still competed on the popular simulation iRacing after his full-time NASCAR driving career had come to an end. During the spring of 2020, Earnhardt and many fellow NASCAR drivers compete in a multi-week iRacing series, the eNASCAR iRacing Pro, Invi Pro Series Invitational Series first ever first event at a virtual homestead Miami Speedway. Earnhardt drove the number eight filter time Chevrolet to a second place finish after a thrilling side-by-side -side duel for the victory. This Earnhardt iRacing diecast is truly a market first. So yeah, that's a pretty cool story there on the back. I actually did enjoy the iRacing Pro Invitational Series this year. I want to see them do that again some point down the line. I know they haven't said anything yet, but I'd like to nonetheless. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the car. Um... Bring the light a little closer. Um, 
As you can see, it's a Chevrolet Camaro. You got filter time on the hood. It says, don't worry, breathe happy. Got the number eight logo here. <coughs> Bless me. Got the Junior Motorsports logo there on the front. On the side here, um, you got the NASCAR Cup Series logo. Got several contingency sponsors there. Got the number eight here. You got the NASCAR race car sticker by the Gyroside logo. <sighs> got the um, Dale Jr.'s. You got Jr.'s name there above the, the window as well. You got um, the American flag. You got filter time and dirty mo rain, dirty mo radio on the left rear quarter panel. The same thing on the other side too. I love the highlighter yellow for the number and the spoiler. Of course they did for the splitter, but that's fine. There's a WR here on the bottom, which I have no idea what it means, but I guess it's Dale Jr. affiliated. You got number eight here on the top. You got um. Filter time on the top, the deck lid, and on the back. And what else? You got um the Chevrolet logo, you got Junior Motorsports and the number eight. And that's pretty much it. So guys, that will do it for this die cast review. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan Number Nine here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. <sighs> oh, tired. Make sure to go hit that like button and follow me on Twitter at Chase Fan Underscore Nine. With that, I'll see you on my next video. And until then, have a good one and stay safe, everybody. All right, bye bye.